25. Let's hear it for Shane and Karen. Next to dance is the All-Ireland winner who showed his championship form when he topped the leaderboard last week. Tonight he'll be hoping to make it two in a row. Dancing the tango, it's Paul Brogan and Salome Chachua. The way you were moving so fast, I'm like, what? Can we just talk about that lift? Oh my God, so amazing, Jack! Can you believe it? We have nine, nine, nine. Unbelievable. Highest score of the season. So proud of you. Next dance is one of my favorite dance. It's a tango. You know tango? Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't bend up your body. Straight. Tango is tough. I have to try to keep the frame. I've had shoulder operation, so trying to keep the arm up and the shoulder down is uh, it's proven difficult. I've been told numerous times that it's Salome's favorite dance, which is a bit of pressure. It's very hard dance, but uh, I'm sure it will be all good. So we. So every time I get at the head position wrong, I get one of these. Like a warning push. No, here. Paul has to keep his head to the left side. Sometimes he's forgetting it, that's why I'm pushing him. The last week was unbelievable. 999, can't go wrong. But this week, that'll be a serious trouble with Salome if I mess up this dance. <laughs> Dancing the Tango, Paul Brogan and Salome Chachua. Well done, excellent job. Um, I felt the pressure when I heard Salome say in the VT that it was her yeah, favourite dance. dance. <laughs> How did you feel? I added a bit extra pressure there. Yeah, so, yeah, did it a little bit. Well, I was getting it wrong all week, so I could just feel the pressure building each, each day. But no, well, uh, I think you got it right tonight. <laughs> right, but... Let's ask the yeah. experts. Uh, we're going to Arthur first of all. What did you make of that? Well, Paul, after that performance, you are looked out of nowhere. That was so powerful, Ooh. so strong. I mean, you're a big guy, you know, like big guy. And that was very clever, Salome. Once again, choreographed something around you. The exaggerated movement, big movement. As well as dancing, you were telling me a story and I liked it. But I have to go back to the early days when you got a little bit stompy, bulky again, a little bit stuff. Relax, mm -hmm. a good massage will do great, you know, <laughs> just relax. You know what, the song hey, called Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> the song called Heaven, but with your footwork, that was devilish. Ooh. Thank you very much. That's good. That's a good start. We'll take that. Brian. Um, listen, I get when you guys try and sneak in an odd little lift here or there and dances where there shouldn't be lifts and hope that maybe we miss it. Eight lifts in the tango. Oh, that's pushing it maybe just a bit too far. But onto the dancing itself. Posture. I think the posture has actually improved. And what I want to see more from you now, Paul, we've seen two weeks in a row, a lot of lifts in there. I want to see you now using this posture to lead Salome more. Look more involved. I get she's a whirlwind in front of you. She'd scare most fellas 
beyond belief. Yeah. But yeah. getting involved and being involved is key to dances like this, where the man's movement is so important. So frame and posture improving, just get that lead and get more involved. OK, get more involved, you can do that. Uh, Lorraine. Uh, this one's very hard to judge because I like the opening because there is role playing between the two of you, so I get the tango. Then it goes into Argentine tango. Brian's addressed it. To me here, I don't see you dancing in that pull, and that's mm -hmm. what I want to see. When you get to the ballroom tango, that's when I saw you, great frame, great head, and that's what I wanted more of. So I found that very difficult to have to judge. Ooh. It's not a tango. Um, Salome, obviously you choreographed the dance. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to Lorraine on, on that point? No, no, I think I, I always accept, so I understand. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. it was fantastic, though. <laughs> I think you both did very wonderful. well. Amazing. It was lovely to watch. <laughs> Paul and Salome, well done. Thank Well, get the serious stuff out of the way. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about that slow me? Lorraine saying that that's not a tango. Um, no, actually it's a two section. It's an Argentine tango and ballroom tango. So I did mix. You did a mix? Yeah, but I totally accept it, so. You accept it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll say accept and move on. Yeah. Did you feel the pressure, Paul, after being top of the leaderboard last week? Let's, let's get the positive yeah. body. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I did, and uh, I, did, I struggled with this dance all week. I don't know what it was. I just found it very tough. So uh, that bit of pressure there. Well, that, that, you don't really think about the leaderboard. Obviously, it's a new. Come Monday, it's like learning to walk again. Well, you don't so. think about it when you're at the top, Paul. No, well, that's true. You know right? what at I mean? the bottom is different. But, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, Arthur going. says so powerful, so strong, as well as dancing. You told a story. Are you happy with that feedback? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I would say that he's doing such a big improvement. Yeah. And it doesn't matter we are dancing Argentine or ballroom tango. She's not pro professional, he's trying his best. So thank he's you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Salome, she quite literally pushed you around the studio this week, the rehearsal studio. Was that a tough Yeah, I get time? like a little kind of worn <laughs> flap. She, she, she called me words with gummage because like, we did took that away so much. So, so I get the kind of like a friendly slap, let's call it. Lorraine said she found that very difficult to judge. Let's see how she judged it. The scores are in. The judges have their scores. Brian Redmond. Five. Lorraine Barry. Five. Arthur Guren Leanne. Six. That is a total of 16, but remember, your votes can also see Paul and Salome in the ballroom. We'll declare the lines open later in the show, and then, if you want to keep Paul and Salome in the competition, call 1513-717108 or text Paul to 53125. Paul and Salome! Yay! We are taking another break now, but when we come back, it's our Eurovision star and the dancing queen of Ireland.